Welcome. My name is Triffin Callis, and I am chairman of the Green Township Board of Trustees, and we are excited to have everyone here for the rededication of the West Fork Playground. I know everyone's ready and the children to go play. We have a few remarks, and we want to recognize a few individuals, and then you guys will have the first opportunity to play on the new playground. I'd like to um, recognize my fellow colleague on the Green Township Board of Trustees, Tony Rosiello, who is here. David Lindenberg, trustee, and our fiscal officer, Tom Strauss, were unable to make it. Our state representative, former state senator, Bill Seitz, is here. We have the smart kids. We have Eric Schmidt with Playground Equipment Services, who is behind this magnificent project, is here today. Thank you, Eric. We have Dr. Tina Stanton Chapman from the University of Cincinnati, who was instrumental in this project as well. Doc, thank you very much. From the Northwest School District, we have Todd Bowling, Kevin Gale, Pauletta Crawley, and Emily Stepanak. Thank you for being here. I would. There go the scissors. I would like to thank some of the donors. To this project. That's Duke Energy Foundation and Bright Time. Thank you very much. We'd also like to recognize some of the White Oak, Munford Heights, Kiwanis involved in the original playground build. The late Bill Holiday, who founded the park, his wife Nancy, son Tom, wife Lori, they are present today. If we could have a round of applause for the family. We also have present Phil Burlier, the chairman, Ed Beckman, and Ron Lesh, who were instrumental as well. I would like to recognize the former trustees and members of the elected officials in Green Township back in 1999 of the original playground, Cheryl Winkler, Paul Schenkel, Pete Rebold, and Tony Upton, the clerk at the time, who are here today. Thank you for everything you've done for our community. I would also like to recognize our Public Services Department. Some of the members are here, um, led by Joe Lambing and Glenn Caminiti, who is the director of our parks, for all of their work, the partnership with Eric and his team. They did an absolutely phenomenal job and represent the township so well. Thank you for all you did for this project. A few comments. Uh, this vision really started in 2014. That's when the initial discussion happened about planning ahead and redoing the playground here. Connectivity is a big thing here in Green Township that the board has preached. And right now, as, as many of you here walked on the sidewalks, we have connectivity. From the sidewalks to the library to the school where the children in front of me are going to play, and now to the park, and that's a big thing with our vision, and we wanted to tie that together with our neighborhood as well. Safety, with the equipment. Uh, we have first class equipment here, we had some dated equipment, and safety is so important for the children who are playing. And as you look around, we also made the decision to fence in this playground for the safety of those children. Uh, this is dynamic. If you look behind me, this is like a playground no other in this region. It offers play value for children of all kids, ages, and abilities. And we take great pride in offering that for our community. You won't find a playground that has those characteristics anywhere else. The children will grow with this park. If you're an infant, there's an opportunity to play with the little houses. You can move up to the next house, and you grow from your different ages throughout the park. That's something that most parks do not offer. And you will really grow with the parks and for the parents and those grandparents, you will be able to watch your children and your grandchildren grow, which is truly special for our community. We also wanted to preserve the legacy here. You see the original tower. We're going to have recognition of a plaque of the original donors and members of the project back in the late 90s. And it was important for myself and my colleagues on the board to recognize the legacy and preserve that legacy of those individuals. It's truly a special day here. At this point, I would like to introduce my good friend, longtime leader of our community, 
former state senator, our state representative, Mr. Bill Seitz. Well, thank you very much, Triffin. Uh, this is an, indeed an auspicious day for Green Township, and uh, I reflect back with, uh, with uh, some amusement and, and great deal of pride that I was here the first time we dedicated this park. I guess that's a sign I'm getting old, but the great work of the Montford Heights White Oak Kiwanis uh, cannot be uh, overlooked here because they were the original visionaries, as Triffin said. And in addition to the Holiday family, Ron Lesh, Phil Berlier, uh, uh, our great friend Carl Mohop, who just passed away about a year ago, and Judge Winkler were active in that club, and they brought the first Playland uh, to this West Fork Park. And uh, But for their vision, we wouldn't be here on this rededication ceremony. And then a few years later, uh, we uh, moved forward with our vision for connecting children with our heritage as we brought the German Heritage Museum right up, uh, right beyond us there uh, to this site uh, to re remind everyone of the proud German heritage shared by many of us in Green Township and Western Hamilton County. The unifying uh, fellow throughout all of this is our great friend Tony Upton, who is here, a longtime trustee and clerk. Uh, he was a, a man, all things park in Green Township, and we are blessed to have a great system of of township-owned parks here in Green Township, and really a great deal of the credit for that, from a legislative standpoint, goes to Tony Upton. So we're delighted that he's with us today. Tony. I'm excited for the opportunities that our new trustees have brought to Green Township, and for all you kids, a great place to play, a safe place to play, a great place to learn, a great place to work out some of those tensions of too much schoolwork, uh, but uh, a, a well-rounded kid is a kid who learns and a kid who plays. And so I bring you greetings on behalf of the entire state of Ohio. I'm not going to read this resolution, but it's a resolution from the Ohio House of Representatives, from our speakers, Clifford Rosenberger, signed by me as well. And uh, all I want to, I'll read maybe a paragraph of it. All those involved in the creation of the West Fork Park Playland are deserving of the highest praise, for they have demonstrated outstanding concern and initiative in supporting the next generation of Ohioans. In the years that follow, this playground will unquestionably become an integral part of the community, and its many contributions will be greatly felt. So, on behalf of the entire state, to our township, to all of the next generation, to those who went before who had the vision to dedicate this park originally, to the trustees over the years that continued to grow our park system in Green Township. Hallelujah, congratulations, let's play. Thank you. We will cut the rope shortly, children. I'd like to bring up next Eric Schmidt, Playground Equipment Services, who we partnered with and is the architect behind the playground here. Eric? Hey guys, I'll keep it short because I want to cut the rope too. No, this is a, this is a really great park and it's, it's, it's really nice to have the opportunity to, to be able to put a, a facility like this together, especially in my hometown. Um, it just it is really, really something that will stay and, and will be a long-term asset to the community. Um, I'd like to give thanks to the guys, uh, at Fran Angeles, crew leader, ran this job, the, the, all of the guys at the township, Glenn and Joe, you guys, fantastic. Uh, great collaboration. Uh, we work in municipalities all over the country, and this is by far the most seamless and easiest project we've ever worked on, and that's because of the folks at Green Township. So thank you very much. Next, I'd like to bring up Dr. Tina Stanton Chapman, who was so very important in this project with her innovative ideas. Doc? Welcome, everyone. First, I'd like to thank, thank you to the Green Township Board of Trustees and officials for understanding the value and importance of research when reviewing and selecting propo proposals for the West Fork Playground. The playground you see before you is the result of five years of research that Eric Schmidt and I have conducted. Over the years, we have surveyed and interviewed caregivers who have children with disabilities, 
special education professionals, including teachers, directors, early interventionists, principals, and community leaders to determine what is working and what is not working in terms of playgrounds for children with and without disabilities. We also conducted observational studies where we observed children playing on community playgrounds all over to determine what, prefer what children liked in terms of preferred and non-preferred play equipment. And based on our published studies, we've learned that caregivers and special education professionals were unhappy with what was currently available in their community playgrounds. They thought it catered to children with physical disabilities, but not other disabilities, excluding children with sensory disabilities, and it either functioned well with children without disabilities or functioned well for children who did have disabilities, but they didn't serve both populations of children. And we also saw that children did not play with the limited sensory equipment that was available. Eric and I used these results to design an inclusive playground that follows the principles of universal design, where all children could benefit regardless of their ability. West Fork's playground includes many, includes, includes playground equipment from multiple manufacturers and companies. Our goal was to develop a playground that will have play and social value for all children. We truly believe and we have accomplished this goal with West Fork's, West Fork's playground for today's children and future children. Thank you, Eric Schmidt and Playground Equipment Services for making design on paper become a reality. I've truly enjoyed this collaboration and endeavor and look forward to more. Together, we can change how children play outdoors and create an environment where families can take all their children, including those who have children with disabilities. Thank you. Thank you, Eric and Doc, for all, for all of your work. And it really is special to have a playground for children, all ages and abilities to grow, learn, and benefit from. We're very proud of that here in Green Township. Last, I would like to bring up my colleague on the Board of Trustees who share, shared the vision with um, myself and David Lindenberg of the upgrade and really moving forward with this project. He's a great leader in our community, Mr. Tony Rosiello. Good morning, everybody. How you doing? It's almost time. You know what? Before we get moving here, why don't we move the, and the kids, you need to stay there, but maybe we can move this back a little bit as we get these large scissors out here. I don't want to have any of our young uh, future uh, folks here. So let's see if we can move that back just a, just a tad. Don't move. Okay, thank you. Residents and honored guests, and especially our children, this is a great day in Green Township. You know, the trustees have listened and responded by creating the partnerships that you demanded when it comes to public safety, managed growth, state-of-the-art hospitals, and partnerships with our schools, and of course, our great parks. These partnerships have brought a balance, and that's the, the key word, the balance in our community, sought by young and old alike, to make sure that everyone, including those with special challenges, are never left behind. This state-of-the-art facility behind me, this inclusive playground, gives our community exactly what we need. It represents a level playing field. We have retained the original tower, which is over here, to recognize those who originally helped create the park. Now, what you may not know is buried at the base of the tower is a time capsule, which current news articles, maps, township artifacts will be sealed with letters and writings and artwork from over 700 students, and some are represented here today, from Moffat Heights Elementary that will not be open for 50 years. Our hope is that these students with us today, many of them will be back here in 50 years to open up the time capsule and enjoy whatever the next phase of this park will become. So my question is, students, are you ready to see your new park? Yeah! I didn't hear you, are you ready to see your new park? Yeah! I invite Chairman Callis, Representative Seitz, and our honored guests to please step up to the ribbon as we get our uh, scissors out and our folks can move this here 
And students, what we're going to do, we're going to count down from 10. So I'll tell you when we're ready, okay? So be ready. Here we go. Let me hear you now. 